All right, so we just finished taking a look at the Bojack. Now we're gonna be taking a look at the Extremes. We looked at the three Sparkings featuring the LF with the banner when it drops. Now we're gonna be taking a look at the Extremes and any equips that drop. I'm pretty sure that we have some equipment, but Gokula. I see a lot of people talking about this character, so I'm interested in this. The first EX Extreme character in the, in the game. So two stars. All right, typical EX stats. What happens when you transform? That's not bad. Factoring in that he's an EX character, that is not bad. Give you the benefit of the doubt, Gokua. What do we got? Main ability, transform into full power, Gokua. Restore on health by 20% and key by 50. Destroy all your own cards and ran randomly draw four new ones. Is this not what transforming Super Vegito does? Cool. Unique ability, pre-transform. Just getting started, applies the following effects to self when the battle starts. 30% to damage inflicted cannot be cancelled. 50% to key recovery buff, plus 50% to vanish gauge recovery. That's nice. Assertion of battle, plus 60% to damage inflicted against tag hybrid sand. What? Reduces damage received from tag hybrid sand by 30%. Cannot be cancelled. Holy crap, this dude is the anti hybrid sand. Does that mean he is a must? against the red Super Saiyan 2 Gohan as well as the purple Gohan? I think he is. Wow, he is the anti-hybrid Saiyan character. I guess it got absolutely sick of everyone saying how good the Gohan is. So they're like, all right, here, here's uh, fake Goku to go kill them. Applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. 40% to damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Reduces damage received by 30% for 15 timer counts. This paired with a hybrid sand character is already looking ridiculous. He's doing 130% extra damage to hybrid sands and he's taking what? 70% less damage? Sorry, 60%. I was looking at the 40. 60% less damage from hybrid sands with a reduction to a strike arts cost. This guy is the anti-hybrid sand character. He is the wave. Nice. His blue card, major slice damage, inflict enemy attribute downgrade, plus 20% to slice damage received for 15 timer counts upon activation. Keep in mind, this is translate. This is basically saying he they're taking additional strike damage because uh, slice damage from certain characters that have swords and stuff is from their strike arts. So it basically translates to 20% more strike damage received. Got some blast armor. His green card randomly draws one new card. Inflict all enemies with attribute downgrade, plus 20% to slice and pierce damage received for 30 timer counts, activates once. And he's got his standard strike cards there. Let's go ahead and see what he does transformed. Man, what are his max stats? Oh my god. What? Could it be the, the wave of viable EXs has returned? What is this? This character is like the Gohan. What are these stats? I know he's an EX. I know getting him to 14 stars is super rare, but it's just the fact that this exists, that the upper bar is there, is what I'm talking about. Just the fact that it exists and the upper echelon is so high that this is possible is what's ridiculous to me. Because where the ceiling is also dictates where the floor is. So if the ceiling is high, the floor has to come up too. So the baseline stats are improved. Hence why the Gohan looks good at two stars and why Gokua doesn't look too bad at two stars either. So now that he's transformed, Decisive Strike. Draw a special move arts card next. Restores own key by 50 plus 30% to next special move damage inflicted. Pretty simple. A lot of blue card pain. Applies the following effects to self after he transforms. 40% to damage inflicted, 50% to key recovery, and then, oh, the following effects occur should he be defeated. Inflict all enemies, but no switching. Wow, he's got a lock in on death. And all the enemies take 30% extra, oh, the enemy takes 30% extra damage. Holy crap, he really is a high anti-hybrid sand if you think about it. 60%, still the same old here. And then the still the same old here when he shows up. But now there's the additionally, if the enemy is a hybrid sand character, inflict all enemies with no switching for five timer counts. When he shows up, he gets a five timer count lock-in. This dude is the anti-Gohan, quite literally the anti-Gohan. Think about this scenario, Goku, two stars. He shows up on the battlefield. He, let's say you go up against Red Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, regarded as the best character in the game. That character is already locked in. Great, five timer counts. You just got a mono a mono against this character. Cool. Let's say you get his vanish out, but Gohan kills you because he doesn't care about blues. 
he's locked in now for five extra timer counts. You know what that means? You just go to any other character and start pummeling him, or better yet, you rise and rush the crap out of him. That is crazy to me. But what's funny is, it's almost like Bojack was designed to cancel out Kokua, because if you decide to run that Gohan with Bojack, the five timer count lock-in is taken away when the Rising Rush is activated. It's cool how this, care this team is both helping one another, but also fighting against one another. That is super interesting to me. Wow. Nice design if you ask me, but he is designed to just counter Red Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. It, there's no better way to put it. The super strong passives, the lock-in, is basically pressuring him into a corner. 100%. Even with the low stats, you can still make it work. Blue card, Devil Stinger. Devilish Stinger. Massive pierce damage, inflict enemy attribute downgrade plus 20% to, uh, to pierce damage. Last armor, you got the massive multiplier. And now his green card. 30% of damage inflicted for 10 timer counts upon activation. The following effects occur on hit. Resto restores own vanish gauge by 70%. Inflicts enemy with the force switching. Blast armor when charging forward. Wow. This is another thing. This feeds into his other passives. If your character decide, if your opponent decides to bring out a Saiyan, let's say you're facing Sun Family, and they only have the Gohan left, you pop this, get your vanish back, Gohan's in, he's locked in for what? What, 15 timer counts? 15 timer counts. He's stuck with the anti-hybrid sand character. Wow. That's really well designed. That is about as pressuring as it can get. And then his Z ability is max HP, so this character is already super valuable. Oh, but he provides a little bit extra for the Hera clan. That's nuts. Max HP Z abilities are super nice. So this is a uh, Bojack squad. It's looking kind of scary, man. Now we got Beto. We're going to go ahead and put him at two stars. Looking okay. You are a support type. Support extremes are going to be slapped with some pretty low stats, but strike attack's not looking too bad, I suppose. Main ability, draw a special arts card. Restore on key by 50. 30% to strike damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. Galactic Terror, first passive. 40% to damage inflicted per... What? Per Sagas from the movies battle member, other than this character. Okay, I thought it was going to include him. If they didn't mention that, that means it's 120%. And then applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. Restore on key by 40, reduces damage received by 20. Uh, this is kind of useless for EX character, but sure. And then his second passive applies the following effects to allies when this character switches to standby. Restores health by 10%, 20% damage inflicted for 20 timer counts, and 20% damage inflicted by Hera Clan. Oh, sorry, I said strike. Strike over there. Look at that. Bojack, this guy, and Gohan are looking pretty scary. Standard Strike and Blast, Blue card, Major Explode, Reduce Enemy Key by 70, Green card, Applies the following effects to self on the hit, 30% to strike damage inflicted, 15 timer counts while drawing one new card, that's combo bowl, so another melee based green card, with his Z ability being Strike Attack and Defense, plus a little bit extra for the Hera Clan. Man, that's scary. Are they all going to be providing 55% Strike Attack if they're on the Bojack Squad? That's scary. Ujin, support type again. Stats are uh, looking uh, pretty pretty uh, reflective of being a support EX character. Main ability, draw a special arts card next. Inflict all enemies. Wow, he has a main ability lock in. Inflict all enemies with no switching for 10 timer counts. Inflict all enemies with the attribute downgrade minus 100% to health restoration. 60% to blast damage inflicted, 60% chance to inflict paralysis upon a special arts hit. Holy crap, the amount of pressure you're going to be dealing with against this clan. If you have all the EXs with Bojack, this is terrifying. The entire Bojack squad, uh, the Bojack Unbound movie team, is looking really damn scary. Bojack, any one of these guys in the Gohan, holy crap, man. They designed them very, very uh, scary. If you ask me. First passive, the following effects occur when this character enters the battlefield. 70% to damage inflicted for 15 timer counts. Reduced damage received by 30% for 15 timer counts while reducing enemy key by 15. I just realized now this main ability right here is absolutely intended to shut down any characters that sort of benefit from a last stand case. You know, oftentimes if a character has low HP, they pop their main to heal up again so that they can at least, you know, 
be better for the fight, but taking away all health restoration basically means that they're they're crippled and pressured again. So Gohan's not going to heal. LF Super Saiyan 3 is not going to heal. Basically, they're going to be uh, beaten to death. That's that's basically what this sounds like. Second passive, Cunning Trap. While this character is on the battlefield, applies the following effects to the enemy when enemy switches characters. Reduces 30 key and takes away one level for the card draw speed. Oppressive, oppressive, oppressive. Blue card is major pierce damage. Inflict the enemy with the downgrade 100%. Minus 100% to key recovery. For 10 timer counts on hit, with a 100% chance to inflict heavy bleed. Hello, Whis? Whis? Is this Whis? His blue card, Psycho Thread, applies the following effects to enemy on hit. This is a ranged one, too. Seal one card. Sealed card cannot be used for 10 timer counts. 40% chance to inflict paralysis that is then comboable. And his C ability is Blast Attack and Defense, I'm guessing? Yes, with some extra strike defense. And then Zangya, the final character. Two star. Go over here, range type. Yeah, low stats once again. It seems like Gokua got the special treatment, as did Gohan. Uh, those guys, bar none, just stand, are a cut above all these other characters. This is ridiculous. From main ability, restores own key by 50, restores vanish own vanish gauge by 70, applies the following effect, nullify enemy special actions that activate when changing cover for to sell for 15 timer counts. This is crazy. I think I said this in the breakdown video when we discussed the... Um, uh, the, the the reveal and stuff, but characters that are now getting all of these uh, kill special actions when changing cover stuff I knew was gonna happen because there were so many uh, cover change characters So for the power creep to get to a point where an EX character has it goes to show how crazy the meta is changing First unique swift victory applies the following effects to self when battle starts 60% of damage inflicted for 80 timer counts cannot be cancelled Card draw speed level 1 for 60 timer counts, which cannot be cancelled, and reduces damage received by 40% for 60 timer counts, cannot be cancelled, with a reduction to a blast arts cost for 80 timer counts, cannot be cancelled. They're all timed, but cannot be cancelled. I'm not a fan of that. Why not just make them cannot be cancelled? I don't understand why they gotta be timed. Second passive, Symphony of Strikes applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. 40% of blast damage inflicted for 20 timer counts. Increases oh. She can have level 2 card draw speed for a while. Increases card draw speed by 1 level for 5 timer counts with a 50% key recovery. I guess I understand why it's timed now. Wow, so temporarily she could be an absolute mad lad monster. Jesus. Her blue card, Major Explode. Inflict enemy attribute downgrade minus 50% to health restore. Okay. Her green card, Restores 50 key. 20% to blast damage inflicted, destroy all your own cards, and randomly draw two new ones. That kind of sucks. It would have been nice if it just guaranteed two blast cards as opposed to two random ones then, but sure, no big deal. And then her Z ability, I'm going to assume, yes, blast attack and defense with blast defense for the Hera clan. So these guys synergize so terrifyingly well that it's almost like, you know how Super Warriors all came together at once, or the Ginyu Force, these guys are, there's a chance that they're a super top tier team. Um, granted, because the majority of them are EX characters, you're gonna need quite a bit of stars on them, but I would imagine if you had the EXs at 6, everyone else at 6, this this team I could see being tier 1 or low S tier. Pretty good team. The way that they synergize together is kind of terrifying. Now, moving past characters, we have this equipment here for Gohan. Um, it's gonna be coming from the Bojack event, where he gets a special move buff, of course, he gets a strike attack buff and key recovery. As if, as if, as if Gohan didn't need this. As if he needed it, they decided to give him some more crazy equipment. Main forte attack, blue card key recovery. This is uh, very spooky. And then there's one more equipment with Bojack's face on it. This one here. So strike attack, uh, strike defense, blast defense, and then a two or four, anywhere from two to four percent. Strike attack and blast attack buff for each Herrick clan battle member. Keep in mind this is pure, not base. So this equipment is going to be a must if you plan on maining this team. All I gotta say is fantastic units, well designed, kind of scary. Uh, Gohan is arguably going to be the most difficult unit to deal with in the modern meta because his best friend is the best unit in the game and then let future Gohan shuts everybody down. Bojack is funny and that his Awakened Arts card is what's going to have him transform so if you miss that's a big adios. and. Speaking of audios, that is my cue to leave. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are excited for the characters. Don't forget they're coming on Friday on Reset. We're going to be going live for the summons, boys. 
I think the live summon luck is real. We all had a good time. It was a nice little vibe. Hopefully everybody enjoyed summoning together. So hope to see you there. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Support your boy. We gotta fight. We're fighting the good fight against the YouTube algorithm. We gotta be back on the happy side and your support is needed. Comments, likes, they all help go a long way. So hope you guys enjoyed and until next time, peace.